Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, it's been a minute since I've uploaded on this channel, I realize that. It's, there's been a lot of stuff going on. Um, if the quality isn't great, it's because I just found out that my vlogging camera was um, likely stolen from my old apartment. Uh, I just moved a couple weeks ago and during one of the viewings, uh, the landlord brought a bunch of people in and like 15 people <laughs> and some money of mine got taken and I also think my vlogging camera got taken, which is upsetting. So I'm vlogging on my iPhone today. Um, I'm here with Guy. Hello. And we are just out for a little shopping day. Uh, we're going to Ikea and we're going to Value Village because there's some things I need to get. I'm gonna drop off some Patreon postcards and one year postcards and a couple other little things that need to be sent out uh, to people in the community. called Yisk, which I have never heard of before, but as it turns out, it's like discount Ikea. Like it's, it's similar stuff with like the exact same signs, like these yellow signs and stuff. They're trying so hard to be Ikea. They've even got like the same sort of bags. It's, it's all like, ooh, Scandinavian inspired, whatever. It's pretty okay, actually. As far as, like, I need a couple small bits of furniture, maybe we'll find here. It's a good option, but it's just so funny that they're discount Ikea, but more expensive. I only found two things here, but I found a nice pillow and, like, a fruit basket thing. I've been using a colander for a while, so I'm happy to have a real fruit basket. That's a woolly mammoth for sure. Well, just because it doesn't look that woolly, it's just brown. It's pretty woolly. How's he holding on to these poles? He doesn't have opposable thumbs. Untitled Goose Game? Man, your merch is everywhere. It's actually really cute. Apparently it's for the Special Olympics and proceeds um, from each sale go to the Special Olympics. I like that. Uh, we're at Valley Village now and I'm just doing a little bit of thrifting and trying to find some little kitchen bits. I found these jars for $3 each, and I actually have a bunch of these at home already, um, but I went on the IKEA website just to check the price, and I don't think they sell them anymore, so I'm going to get these two just in case I need them for my pantry. Um, also, thrifting is better than buying new, so if they match the rest of my stuff, I might as well but we're ignoring this incredible uh, Nelly fan art. It's only 13 bucks. 13 bucks, what a bargain. Is it hand done? It looks or like it. Or is it like a print? It's got the guy's name on it. It's, it's amazing. Look at it, it's stunning. You should get it and frame it. It's time for traditional Ikea food. We got, actually, this is veggie meatballs. This is normal meatballs, because I think you want to just try them and then I got my favorite which is the salmon and then I got a little carrot cake. I can't talk too much because there's this wonderful copywritten music playing and I don't want to get copyright striked but the playlist today has just been absolutely just out of this world fantastic. Found a couple things that I need, a couple things that I don't need which I haven't bought. I'm being very good uh, but Ikea is just my favorite. Okay, it is so much later now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize quite how long everything was gonna take. And I'm sorry for the bad lighting. I'm in my living room and it's just a little dim. But this is what we're working with. So I just finished up a really long stream on Twitch playing Borderlands 3. Played for like five, five and a half hours. It was really, really fun. Um, but some people were saying that they wanted to see what I bought today, because I mentioned that I did a little vlog, so I figured I would just show you 
really quickly before I went to bed. The first store I went to was Yisk and really good deals there. The first thing I got was an outdoor pillow for my like little balcony, um, but it's outside and it's late. I don't wanna go get it. But it was regularly $5 on for 50% off because it's autumn <laughs> basically. So I got it for $2.50. It's really quite cute. The next thing I got was a little just like wire fruit bowl with this wood bottom. Um, I've been using a colander for my fruit for like years and this one was also on sale. This one was $4.99. I like it. It's very simple. Um, and then I needed a print or some sort of art for my bedroom. Um, it's white. It has one of the walls is like a dark green. So I wanted to like play with that a little bit. And I found, that's upside down. <laughs> I found this huge like print. It's actually printed on canvas. Um, and this is um, Pearl. I can't remember what the name of the actual plant is, but it's a plant that I want to buy. And it's String of Pearls. I think that's what it's called. Um, but it's just like a wood frame with a mounted canvas. And this was actually on sale as well. This was 50% off. So this huge, this huge art was $15. So I'm pretty thrilled with that. And those are just the three things we got from Yisk. Then we went over to Ikea and the main, the main point of Ikea was so I could get organizational bins. There's two types of bins that I have. I know this is the most thrilling content ever, but there's two types of bins that I have. The first one being the type of bin that you're going to see. So in my streaming room, I have this shelf with, stuff organized on it for like my work and I don't like looking at clutter so I get these bins you can't see them I put a little label on them so I know it's in them but they stack really nicely and they're just really plain they blend in they're called the Kugis k-u-g-g-i-s if you're curious they come in like three or four different sizes but this is the size that I find the most useful. So I'll put like, um, I do scrapbooking. So I have one that's like just scrapbooking or I send a lot of cards. So I have one that's full of cards and every single thing I have one that's just camera equipment. Every box is labeled. So I know it's in them. So the second type of bin I get is clear ones. These ones go in closets. It means I don't care if they look ugly or if I can see clutter through them. It's more helpful if I can see through them um, because then I know what's in there just at a glance. I'll still label them because I label everything. Um, but these were really cheap from Ikea. Um, these are the Samla, S-A-M-L-A. Um, and these were, I think these were on sale too with like Ikea family or something. I'm not sure, but I got a bunch of these for a closet that I have, um, just for like, little bits and bobs like extra toiletries or like tools or just basically so I don't have a junk drawer. I got a bunch of these. Um, I also got for my bedroom, which is like white and dark green and like gold, I got this little shelf, um, which I don't know that it's gonna work, but I'd like to put like a succulent in here and just mount it on the wall and just have it be something simple, a little succulent. I think it could look kind of nice. I like the gold. So I'm hoping to like pick up the gold accents around the room. Um, and then I got jam, Lincolnberry and, oh no, it's not Lincolnberry. It's raspberry and bilberry, which I think is blueberry, but it says bilberry. So I got jam cause it looks really tasty. So going along with the whole bedroom theme, um, that's the sound of uh, my cat, Loaf, using her scratching post. Thank you. Going along with the theme in the bedroom, so I have this one like dark green wall above my bed and I wanted to break, Uh, I wanted to break up the color a little bit because it's really dark green. Um, so I got this 
shelf that I'm gonna mount above the bed and then put like little, little things on. My cat is just making all the sound right now. Put little things on like picture frames or maybe a couple small plants or just like a small clock. Little things just to kind of make the space a little more homey. So I got one of the long ones and then, oh God. <laughs> I also got a small one. I think together they're a little too long, but just one is a little too short. So I'm gonna put them together, see how they look. If I just do one small one or maybe cut this one in half, I am i don't know, but that's an idea. And then the last two things that I got actually go along with this um, to kind of match the frame of this. I found two empty frames that I'm gonna put on here with some sort of prints in them. I'll likely get something from Society6, um, but Hovsta and Hovsta Mini. Uh, these are the two frames that I got just like in a really light wood color to hopefully go along with all the colors in the room. So that is my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I actually didn't end up getting the jars that I showed you from Value Village earlier because I realized I actually didn't need them. Um, I've been reusing a lot of, actually I have one right in front of me, I can show you. I've been reusing a lot of glass jars like this um, for my pantry because it's better to reuse stuff than just buy new, which I think I said earlier today, but I've been using a lot of stuff like this. So as much as I could have put them to use, I really didn't need them. Um, and I always see them in Value Village. So if I do see the need for them, I'm sure I can find them again, but that's a good tip. Just take the label off and then you're good to go. Probably end up using this glass jar when it's empty too. All right, everybody, that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I don't know if like when the next vlog or video is gonna be. I just kind of felt like filming today. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're not already, please subscribe. Uh, like the video is something that YouTubers tell people to do. So do that as well. We're actually really, we're actually really close to 5,000 subs. So if you wanna subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. And all my links are down below in the description to my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Twitch, where I stream six days a week over there. So thank you everybody so much. I love and appreciate you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.